Alrighty, eh? welcome to episode 9, Honky Outdoors, public land bow hunting today with Bo, uh, we're chasing some goats with three curved bows, so fingers crossed we can find some ingredients for a curry. Beers, 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 get, get on, on the beers. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have arrived at our camp spot by somewhere prepared earlier. Random ass weed. Gathering up some kindling. Bo's getting his big big swag out. I'll set up my PC little tent in a minute. I'll go this one. Jeez, that's dry. Right no bro, shout out to son. Make life easier. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Foot bellows blew up, broke a hole in it and doesn't work. So he's mixed up this thing gradually. And it seems to be working. <laughs> Three hours later <laughs> and my princess again, pillow is yeah. ready. <laughs> Putting something somewhere, it was never designed to go. <laughs> oh. Now we're talking. Not a sponsor. Camp set up. <laughs> totally not endorsed by Yeti. Or VB. Oh, in VB. Rightio, legends. Not sure if you hear me over this wind, but today we're going to make uh, campfire nachos. And I've unashamedly flogged this from a mate's page at the Blonde Nomads. Thanks, Rob. Um, yeah, this is my first time trying this, so hopefully we don't burn the living crap out of it. So apparently the key to this is good layering. How <laughs> could implement that? It's a spork. Mark bought me a nice pink one after my other one died. Rip these bits off, otherwise they burn and make it taste like crap. Oh yeah, time to send it. Actually, forgot my little hook, so this is going to be painful later. Yep, that's it. We could use a tent peg, sticks. Oh, the one. Now we wait. Ooh. 
Whoop. All right, top straight on. It's a little burnt, it's still good, it's still good. I'm eating less though. Yeah, it's just that fire got too hot on that side, but no, oh, live and learn. Walk. Oh, yeah. Scalding hot nacho, let's go. Hot? Coop's not too bad. Huh. I'll grab one of the burnt ones because I'm the chef and I stuffed it up. <laughs> <laughs> From the past, you're I had a stump. <laughs> <laughs> Even the burnt one's good, so. Yummo. Matt, it's got some heat to it. Mm. Tell you what. Chilling. Man, that's good. I need light. There we go. Mmm, they're yum. Oh, 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 that pot is hot. <laughs> As you can see, it's a bloody <laughs> tight squeeze in here. And you have another whole hand with the clearance there. Because the damn air mattress takes up so much of the tent. So, uh, yeah. We are going to be hunting in about six hours time. Uh, yeah, chasing goats with the recurve. Looking forward to it. See you in the morning. Welcome to camp. It's 6 a.m. Oh, alarm's just going off. Uh, time to get up and get ready. Yeah, now.
accent there. That looks like his most recent scrape there. So I'd say this was last year's scrape. How's it going? Oh, how's it going? <laughs> That's alright, you're not meant to. <laughs> yeah. Which way is that? Hey? Which way is that? Up the hill. <laughs> through spider webs the whole time. <laughs> Hadn't changed our tactics up because some motorbike riders. Come straight up the trail behind us. So fingers crossed this pays off. So I've picked up a couple of hitchhikers. Funky ass looking spiders I don't really want. behind us. Oh, it's got some yellow fruit on it. I'm just gonna go and have a close look. So I'm just gonna double check in this book, see if I can find anything about it. I'm sure she can see there, it says none of poisonous. I don't know if this is a ripe one or if they're not ready yet, but this one's just full of tiny little seeds and it's just dry. It smells like a normal fig. Just ordinary. Don't let your balloons go, baby. 
Minuten. Hi bye, what do you reckon? Hi bye. <laughs> good call, good call. The mountain special. So I'm just sort of glass in this country down here behind me. Both still fast asleep up there on the rock having a snooze. Um, yeah, we heard two goats bleed as soon as we got out of our tents this morning, essentially. And we they were only about probably two, three hundred meters away. And we went exactly to that spot. The wind was good, we were silent. Um, and we didn't we couldn't find them again. But then we were heading up the hill to a spot we like to check out and we heard a motorbike coming out of the track and then two trail bike riders come up the track so we came over to another section where we've seen goats before but it's not it's not the greatest spot for them um yeah and so I sort of put a spinner in the works a bit but we're going to head back over and check another spot and then come back down another hill that has no trail bike tracks on it so fingers crossed we can get onto some game on that section of the hill which is actually the last spot we found goats a couple of years ago um, when the drought was really bad It's absolutely beautiful country in here. Good for stalking. Not so good for glassing though. But the glassing does help. Looks like a storm might be rolling through now. We could be about to get wet. Found some goats. A little ways away. That would have been what was on my hat. Bo just took that off my bloody camelback mouthpiece. <laughs> Funnily enough, this is the spot Bo actually shot his first goat. Just here. And I actually have the footage of that in my computer, so I might play that right now. So this is footage from Bo's first ever bow hunt on State Forest in 2018. We were sitting down when we heard a goat bleeding out. I let out a few responsive calls and we managed to coax it over the hill. As soon as it crested the hill, I ceased calling and allowed it to come into bow range. I attempted to pull the goat up so Bo could get a clear shot by letting out another bleat sound. Uh, but the goat didn't actually stop. Bo took a slightly moving shot, which is not ideal. Um, but just nick that tree and the goat got away. But then he had a chance to redeem himself later in the day when we came across these two goats. Bo showed excellent discipline and restraint in waiting for the perfect angle to present oh, itself on this goat when no branches or trees would interfere with the shot. And he was rewarded for his efforts.
and after we waited for a little bit I put in a stalk and took out the smaller white goat that you could see on the left during that from about five meters and then the long task of butchering up packing out all the meat and going home to cook it over the fire and make up some curries began and that's probably the best bit about goat hunting Got a nice pig wool over here. Always in some scrubby bush. Tomorrow and stuff. Just found another wallow. Looks a little bit older than the last one though. Some nice fresh tricks there as well. You can see that tree down there has got some mud on it where they've been rubbing up against it after they come out of the water. So we just come into a new section we haven't been into before. It's just heaps and heaps of pigs on around. Calls this spot. You got fig trees there. Big boulder here with heaps of goat crap on it. Is the car and I'm stuffed. What about you, babe? Yeah, I'm wrecked. <laughs> I'm gonna burn these boots. Don't buy these boots, anyone. Yeah, don't buy them. They're rubbish. Trash. But it's dusting off some burrs. Packs off. Here's that balloon we found up the hill. Side pocket. Yeah. Put that the rest of our rubbish and then take it with us.
Look, I know people that drive Ford Rangers love coming up here and having a camp, but can you pick your cruiser lids up? It's a bit embarrassing. Hey. <laughs> oh, look, they even provide bins and people still leave rubbish bodies out there. So, just a recap, we heard goats first thing this morning, couldn't find the damn things, wind was right, we were quiet, couldn't figure it out, got all the way up to the top of the big hill at the back, glassed some goats, feeding, they were in the state forest but by the time we would have got to them they were going to be in the neighbour's property so we let them go, um, that was the only thing we saw all day, pretty much, and that's it. So um, yeah, we're empty handed this time, but like, subscribe, and I'm sure we'll get something soon enough. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna have a beer, then we're going home. See us.